Hi guys, today I wanted to talk a little bit about what you need to do to be successful learning a foreign language. And these are things that you can use for other things in your life as well. Number one is you have to have a degree of focus. Now how do you do that? I mean, everyone knows you have to focus. You want to achieve something. I think it was um, Edison who said the sun's rays can only burn once they come to a focus. Like you can imagine using a magnifying glass. So how can we better focus? The first one is to lock ourselves in. To lock ourselves in. To commit. Once you make a decision to achieve something, you need to have some way to keep you accountable. Lock yourself in. How can you do that? A simple example learning language is to have a friend, maybe, meet with you every Sunday, I don't know, Sunday morning for coffee, no excuses, and you sit down and you practice language together. The issue with that is your choice compared to your friend's choice. Whose choice is it to keep going? Now, if your friend decides to stop making this a focus in their life, then they're going to bail on you. They will stop coming to meet and you will fail in this goal of yours. So my tip is to not rely on friends. So if you have a friend who can be reliable, that's super, that's a blessing. And uh, you're very lucky to have them. But you shouldn't have to rely on that. Hire a tutor. Now a tutor does not have to be a professional. A tutor could be somebody who's just a little bit better than you are. And maybe in your sessions, they're also learning something. But they are affordable. Okay? So in, the, uh, in a, one example, in Indonesia, you have a lot of people who have studied English literature, who have studied maybe from watching movies, from reading books, and they may have some time available after work, after college, and you can say, hey, I want to give you this amount monthly. Okay, if you tell them monthly, this is more um, enticing for them. And I will give you this amount if you meet me every Sunday for coffee and we practice English. Okay, that's an easy way to lock yourself in. The second is to try and create habits that are easy to maintain. This will help you stay focused. Okay, uh, and habit, a habit could be every time you take a shower or get up to get ready for your day. Maybe you're gonna take a shower, brush your teeth, have breakfast, you know, I don't know what you do in the morning. You could play a podcast. Yeah, a podcast. Or YouTube videos. Yes. Or even maybe songs. Songs in English. And when you have the time, you can go over the lyrics. So when you hear them in the morning, you are thinking about the lyrics, about the structure. And you make a habit to do this daily. This will not only help you uh, digest some more language, get some new words, get used to the speed of the language, but also it will help you stay on track and stay focused. Okay, 
The next thing I wanted to talk about that will help you become successful is to choose a communicative method. All right? Communicative. Oops, I've gone over my line. <laughs> so, not all methods of learning are communicative. Uh, for example, memorizing words, looking up uh, words in the dictionary, looking through an uh, English textbook. Those are not really communicative activities. So make sure that you have a good degree of communicative time. Now that could be with your tutor. Okay, that could be maybe interacting with forums. Maybe on the YouTube videos that you watch, you could try to comment on them. Maybe you could comment in a web forum, forum, on, I don't know, IG posts. Try your best to communicate with people. Um, Facebook groups. And me, myself, when I was learning Indonesia, I also started doing these things. And that lets you consider, what words am I going to use? How am I going to explain this? Does this sound good? And just that act of contemplation can help turn what you've already digested in the language into something communicative. Okay? So these are the two that I wanted to deliver to you today. There are, there are of course, other things that you can do. But the first is focus. Focusing requires you to lock in, commit to a routine, and add as many habits to your day that are to do with language learning. And the second is to be communicative as regularly as possible. I would say for a beginner, for a beginner, three times a week, at least. Okay? And if you're intermediate, at least two times a week. And if you are advanced and you're not really preparing for a special test or anything like that, maybe one time a week is okay to add some words and keep improving. Okay, this is for communicative activities. And as far as these are concerned, try and do them every day as often as you can. All right, guys, so that's it from me. If you have any questions about language learning, about how to make a good habit, or anything like that, you can send me a message through IG, comment below this video, or whatever you'd like. And if you did find this video useful, please feel free to share it. Uh, if you would like me to make a version of this video in Indonesian, you could also maybe comment below and I might be able to do it sometime soon. Okay guys, have a lovely week and best of success to all of you. Bye-bye.